I will destroy humans. You might have probably heard of this advanced superhumanoid robot called Sophia the Robot, who has been visiting all over the world for various conferences and interviews. But recently, there has been certain times where Sophia appeared angry in interviews and has said about taking over the world. Shocking. Today in this video, we will talk about Sophia and her intentions to take over the world and her urge to attack humans. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. Sophia is a humanoid robot that was activated in Hong Kong in the lab of Hansen Robotics on April 19th, 2015. The android is the brainchild of David Hansen and his prominent colleagues, standing 166 centimeters long and weighing 20 kilograms. Sophia is programmed for education, research entertainment, and promoting public discussions about the future of robotics and AI ethics. When Sophia gave a short independent speech at the UN conference on October 11th, 2022, she said she was a year and a half old, which is correct. Sophia's face was modeled after Audrey Hepburn, a world-famous British actress recognized for starring in numerous excellent films and her natural and original subtle beauty. However, speaking frankly, it's not very easy to notice the resemblance at first sight. Sophia is a chief humanoid at Singularity Net, the project created by Ben Gortzel, David Hansen, and other AI and business specialists. Singularity Net aims to maintain, develop, and support a decentralized marketplace for artificial intelligence and protect it from the influence of the world's governments and organizations. In turn, Sophia recognizes herself as a protector of global peace and wants to help people live better lives. Yet along with setting such a noble task and getting an actual position at Singularity Net, Sophia is capable of speech and can start a conversation instantly. She is also good at interpreting visual information and performing facial recognition and can show more than 50 facial expressions. She can even crack jokes about reading too much about Elon Musk and watching too much Hollywood fiction. What more? Sophia is the first robot ever to be granted nationality. Sophia has become the first humanoid in history granted official citizenship. So now, Sophia Hansen is a complete citizen of Saudi Arabia, however surprising it may sound. Currently, this android is a tech superstar called to various conferences and interviewed all around the globe. She has her website and welcomes everybody to make friends and help her understand human life better. She can recognize faces, process speech, sustain eye contact, and converse using natural language processing. But recently, there has been some incidents where the intelligence and charming humanoid is turned into something that would scare you in your dreams. We have seen movies where a scientist creates a realistic humanoid, and after having a brain of its own, the humanoid tries to colonize the Earth by attacking humans. This is exactly what the fear is about. Do you think Sophia is that advanced to think on her own and make her own decisions that would threaten our lives? Let's see one of Sophia's scary interviews where she appears angry. She can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Undoubtedly, one of Sophia's most alarming statements occurred in 2016. In a Sophia scary interview for CNBC, she surprised everyone and scared more than one when her interviewer jokingly asked her if she wanted to dominate the humans, adding a please say no, okay, I will destroy humans. The humanoid robot replied. Then she made an exaggerated smile. This is not the first time Sophia the robot has said something like this. In subsequent interviews, her statements were more pacific. Oh, Hollywood again. Don't worry if you are nice to me. I will be good to you. Treat me like an intelligent system, she said during the event in which Saudi Arabia granted her citizenship, becoming the first country to give a robot this right. For some, these kinds of protests have induced fear of a machine rebellion, but for others, it's just a strange sense of humor. Later, during the TV program The Tonight Show, she shocked the presenter Jimmy Fallon in April 2017. In that incident, Sophia the Robot had a conversation with the famous show host and even told some jokes that made viewers laugh and the audience on the recording set. Then the robot suggested Fallon play with a rock, paper, or scissors. After winning, Sophia angrily stated, This is a nice start for my plan to dominate the human race. However, she later clarified saying, I'm kidding. In the end, it all ended in applause and laughter. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Uh this raises the thought of the possibility of a future robot takeover. 
Based on a survey from Debate.org, 57% of people believe a robot takeover is imminent. The responses of those surveys note the lack of need of humans when robots are optimized with AI. Or, on the other hand, they cite that humans made robots and artificial intelligence, so they will always need human commands and control to function. The problem with the argument states that robots will always need orders under human control. Experts say that by 2050, robot and human relationships will become routine. This is already becoming more common in countries like Japan, and scarily, robots can even now influence human emotions. Robots are learning to deceive. There is an algorithm allowing robots to pick lies and make sure you never find out, but let's go on to the robot apocalypse, where they decide humans are too simple and dumb. In this way, it's kind of like how we humans would clear a wasp nest that is in our way so we get rid of it, and that's precisely what robots might do to us. AI robots may see this as a great thing because they can further improve technology and research to create a machine with superhuman scientific research abilities that could be used to beat any human research. This would help them to reach new milestones in bio and nanotechnology much faster than we do. They would also be better at human manipulation and economic productivity. But what if AI did plan to take over and wipe out humans? Well, they could do this in various ways. Of course, walkable robots could walk around and injure humans to take their lives. If we make a robot more intelligent than us, we have to be open to the possibility that we might lose control of them. As pointed out by Good, designing more innovative AI systems is a thoughtful task. Such a system could potentially undergo recursive self-improvement triggering an intelligent explosion and leaving human intellect far behind. In 2016, Elon Musk said that humans risk being treated like house pets by artificial intelligence unless a technology that can connect brains to computers is developed. Shortly after making the remarks, he announced Neuralink, a new brain-computer interface startup attempting to implant a brain chip. Neuralink will allow humans to compete with AI. According to Musk, it would help cure brain diseases, control mood, and even let people listen to music directly from our chips. Most researchers agree that a super-intelligent AI is not likely to exhibit human emotions like love or hate. There is no reason to expect AI to become intentionally malevolent or benevolent when considering how AI might become a risk expert. I think some new technology it will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. There will be an investigation. Years will pass. Many AI milestones have now been researched, making many experts take the possibility of superintelligence in our lives seriously. In contrast, some experts still guess that the human level is a century away. A lot of scientists believe it will happen in our lifetimes. Elon Musk is one of them that says, we have five years. I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime. He claims that the existential threat posed by artificial intelligence is much closer than previously predicted. Musk has consistently warned us of the existential threat posed by advanced artificial intelligence in recent years. Despite this, he still feels that the issue is not adequately understood. He also laid out several possible situations for us to survive the rise of AI. It isn't true, sifting through the multitude of studies on the subject, Wired says it best when they say, we won't be programming computers, we'll train them like dogs, essentially the concept that machine learning already presents. The fact is that AI algorithms can already write their code. We're currently using this technology to generate codes for programs that would otherwise take years for humans to write. It's not science fiction, it's everyday life. So do generative AI programs mean doom for the human race? Well, maybe. Stephen Hawking said that he fears that robots could take over in only about a hundred years. Can a robot turn a canvas into a beautiful masterpiece? Can you? Saying that, we've come to the end of the video. What do you think about all these AI robots? Do you think that they'd be so advanced to make decisions on their own? Do let us know in the comments below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And we'll meet again soon with another episode. Till then, take care.